In the blue corner, weighing in at over 2 billion users, we have the mother of all social media networks, Facebook. And in the purpley, orangey, yellowy corner, we have its counterpart, weighing in at over 800 million users, Instagram. And on today's episode, they're facing off and we're deciding which one is better, Instagram ads or Facebook ads. Let's get ready to rumble. Is that trademarked? Am I allowed to say that? Maybe I'll scratch that. Let's get to it. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, Modern Marketing Strategist, and welcome to The Modern Marketing Show, where we help you make marketing that matters. So if you're interested in learning about the latest and greatest marketing strategies, tools, tips, tricks, and tactics, well, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell. All right, so today we're talking all about Instagram ads versus Facebook ads, and which one is better. Now, a couple real quick disclaimers before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, we are talking about advertising on these platforms. So not organic and not personal use, but rather paid advertising for both Instagram and Facebook. So now that we've got that covered, let's dive in and try to figure out once and for all which one is gonna be best and which one is gonna be best for your business. All right, so the very first criteria we need to take a look at is ease of use. And what we're talking about here is which one is easier to create ads for, which one is easier to deploy and to monitor and to watch and to scale and to optimize and all the stuff that goes into advertising. And when it comes to ease of use, well, probably no surprise here, the answer and the winner is it's a tie. And the reason is, is because both Instagram ads and Facebook ads use the exact same advertising manager, the Facebook ads manager. So this means if you're able to go out there and create an ad campaign for Facebook, well, you're able to do the exact same thing for Instagram just by clicking another box. All right, the second criteria we need to take a look at is reach and which one is gonna give you access to more people. Now, this one is pretty cut and dry because Facebook has over 2 billion users and Instagram over 800 million users. So if you're just looking at masses of people in general, well, obviously the edge here is gonna go to Facebook and Facebook is gonna be the winner if you need to reach more people. All right, and that leads us nicely into engagement because it's not really just about reaching more people, but also about how they're gonna engage with the content. And this is where Instagram starts to pull ahead as people are 10 times more likely to engage with content and specifically branded and advertising content on Instagram than they are with Facebook. So the winner here is Instagram. All right, next we've got to talk about one of the most popular advertising options of all, which is video ads. Now, both Facebook and Instagram do have relatively robust video advertising options available, especially with the new introduction of IGTV over on Instagram. That said, Instagram videos are limited to either 60 seconds or 15 seconds, depending on what format you choose, but with Facebook, your videos can go significantly longer, which means, in this case, the winner is gonna to go to Facebook. This is especially true because with Facebook and the fact that you've got those longer option videos available, well, you're able to create different audiences based on the percentage of the video they watch, giving you more options for custom audiences and lookalike audiences. All right, so the winner of video ads goes to Facebook, but let's talk about image ads. And this one is a pretty easy win for Instagram. After all, the platform was pretty much designed specifically for pictures. So if you've got a brand or a business that's visually appealing or the benefits can be portrayed through the use of a picture, well, Instagram is obviously gonna be a pretty easy choice here. All right, and lastly, let's talk about the cool factor of Instagram or Facebook ads. Now, as great as Facebook is and as valuable a marketing tool it is for any brand or business, well, there's not too many people that would go around calling it cool. Instagram, on the other hand, is cool, and therefore, it's easily gonna win this one, hands down. All right, so let's tally up the scores. After looking at things like ease of use, reach, engagement, video ads, image ads, and of course, cool factor, we have a final score of Instagram 4, Facebook 3. But this by no means is an excuse to shut down all your Facebook ads and put all your eggs in the Instagram ads basket. As Mark Zuckerberg said, we believe Facebook and Instagram are different experiences and complement each other. So my advice is to use both, Facebook ads and Instagram ads, mostly because it's not that hard, but also because it's just the smart thing to do. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments section below which one you vote for, Instagram ads or Facebook ads. I'd love to hear it. Also, for more great marketing strategies, tools, tips, tricks, and tactics, make sure to head over to adamairhart.com, which is packed full of all sorts of different videos, and podcasts, and articles, and resources to really help take your business and your marketing to the next level and way beyond that. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on The Modern Marketing Show.